Today we're going to be achieving this upscale using Topaz Gigapixel version 8. First thing, I'm going to drag our image into Gigapixel. And this image has been generated on Sora slash GPT-40, the new, new image model. So I'm just going to upscale this to four times um, because I really want to see all the details on this face because the model, the shot is well, as you can say model, and just remember it's not a photograph, it's so good, so detailed. And here we're going to look at the upscale model. And this format looks a little bit different because I've just updated Gigapixel and it's now just got it's got a slightly different UI, but it's pretty much exactly the same. Just the way the menus interact is a little bit different. So I'm going to do my usual compare, A, B, compare on this. Standard high fidelity. I don't think I'm going to bother with any of the others. That sort of makes more sense to me. So on the left, I've got standard mode results. And on the right hand side, I've got the high fidelity results. Now I'm looking at them and high fidelity is definitely giving me um, what I'd consider to be more sort of crispy details. If you look around the lip, there's just a lot more, there's a lot more um, crisp lines and small details around the lip. This is, um, yeah, this is looking good. I'm going to go with that. Now it might be a little bit too much for a portrait like this, but I'd always have the, prefer the option of a little bit more detail if we need to soften it back in post-production. So just click apply model. And um, that's now going to be our apply to our preview. I'm going to drag it around, by the way, because I'm holding the left mouse button. It's temporarily activating the before kind of original preview. And then when I let go, it's going to update with the um, with the upscaled and processed version. So now I'm going to go down to the model settings and see, do we need any sharpening here? Absolutely not. This is razor sharp as it is. Any denoise? I don't think it needs. If you if you need to find out if it needs denoise or fix any compression, just look at the original by holding down your left mouse button. Or if you've got a side by side view, you can just look at the left hand side of the screen, and you'll see your sort of before there. And just look. Does it look excessively noisy to you with grain? Does it look like there's a lot of JPEG artifacts? If the answer to that is no, then I wouldn't adjust these. And the easiest way to tell for JPEG artifacts is look around really high contrast areas, and you'll see you'll normally see them all bunching up around there. But I think we're absolutely fine on this one. So this is going to end up being a really super quick upscale because I'm not going to do any face recovery doesn't need it it's not applicable i'm not going to do any gamma correction so then it's just a case of click and export and enjoying your image